This demonstration is on the Crosslink Client Questionnaire. This feature allows you to create custom questionnaires and attach certain forms specified by you to a return. When a return is created and your preparers go to the questionnaire option, the form that is associated with the question will then attach itself to the return after a refresh. Crosslink has a predefined questionnaire already set up. To create your own personalized questionnaire, start at the Work in Progress screen and click on Setup, then Questionnaire Setup. You will see a Questionnaire Setup window appear on your screen. You can either review and modify the current questionnaire, or delete all and start with an empty template. Let's start by looking at the basic functionality of the Questionnaire Setup page. At the top of the screen, you can use the drop-down button to choose between previously set up questionnaires. You can add a new question by clicking Add. You can delete a question by highlighting it and clicking Delete. You can delete the entire form by clicking Delete All. The Move Up and Move Down buttons will move a highlighted question up or down the list of questions. To save the questionnaire to the current name, click Save. To save the questionnaire to a different name, click Save As, then type the new name for the questionnaire, and click OK. Or click Close to close the window, without saving any changes. To add a question, click Add. This will open up a new box, Questionnaire Item. Using the drop-down here at Row Type, you can see the different items you are able to add. A question will allow you to enter a question that can be answered with either a yes, no, or not applicable. If the question is answered yes, and a form is listed in the Attached Forms field, that form will be attached to the return. You can use up to three lines of 60 characters each to ask a question. Question with Note Box. This choice will allow you to type in a question that will need a more complete answer than a simple yes, no, or na, and will provide a text box to type the remainder of the answer into. The character limit on the answer is 80 characters. Form Header. Form Header is the name you would like to call the form. This is listed at the top of the questionnaire. It is limited to one line of 60 characters. Section header is used to define separate sections of the questionnaire. For example, if you have several questions relating to income sources, you could head the section Income. And Empty Row, which is commonly used as a section divider. After we created a questionnaire, we need to assign it to a login account so that it goes into effect. To do this, start at the Work in Progress screen and click on Setup and Login Accounts. Select the login account you want to add the questionnaire to and click the Edit button. In the lower section, use the drop down by Questionnaire and choose the questionnaire you want this preparer to use. Please note the questionnaire will only attach itself to new returns. Begin a new return, and in the Attached Forms list, you will see the form Questionnaire. Double-click the questionnaire and begin to ask and answer the questions. Crosslink will attach the forms that you have specified in the questionnaire. You can tell when the appropriate questions have been answered in a form by looking for the red checkmark next to the form name. That checkmark means the form has attached itself to the return. When all the forms have been filled out and attached themselves, review the return, and, if it's ready, finish the return as you normally would. This concludes this demonstration on questionnaires.